Hey everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Mega Man 3 of the Legacy Collection. It's me, Inferno Nomad, and I am back from my monthly hiatus for multiple reasons. Like, honestly, it was a really rough couple months, but I am back, and I am ready to give you guys some more awesome content of Mega Man 3. And what better way to really explain myself and try to play this game by going after just Sparkman's Doc Robot stage? Um, last episode, we defeated Gemini Man's and Shadow Man's Doc Robot stages, and we kicked their asses. Unfortunately, those are um, our Mega Man 2 bosses, so we have to deal with those guys. But I wonder where they came from. I wonder how they came to be. Hmm. Well, we'll figure that out when we finish up all of the Doc Robot stages. So, oh, by the way, kill that guy with Shadow Blade. Or Gemini Lizard. But, first off, I want to explain the elephant in the room. Why I wasn't here for so long. Why I haven't been uploading? Well, to put it bluntly, there are a lot of factors. And I'd like to explain that one factor was one lazy and two others were personal. That came into play. So, the first one was me playing through a lot of games on Game Pass. I have an Xbox One, so I get and I have Game Pass. So, it's very interesting to have because not only will it help me, like, make the channel and, like, give, give me a lot of games to play, but I needed to try some of these games before because I've never played them. And one of them I haven't played was uh, Mass Effect. And the reason why was because I was actually kind of interested because I've never played the series and I've heard some good things about it. Except for Andromeda. I've never really heard anything that good about it. But anyways... So, I picked up Mass Effect 1 from Game Pass, and I was like, okay, how is this game going to be? And when I played it, I was just hooked. Like, the first Mass Effect, I mean, yeah, it looks a little bit dated, and like, the graphics and the models look kind of weird, but I love the game. The game, as soon as I started playing, the characters, the gameplay, just everything about it, which is super fun. I'm, just, I'm hissing with this thing. Um, so, just trying to find some games for the LP, or for the channel, which is a big hassle to find. And I'm not saying that as like a, oh, I'm, I'm gonna excuse myself. No, that was my bad. I shouldn't have been so lazy about the uploads on that part. But the other two reasons I had to take into account, because, well, I'm, just, I'm gonna say this right now. This channel isn't as important as the certain personal things I have in my life. Because the second thing was about college. And my classes were getting a little bit stuffy. I'm not saying stuffy, but just getting tougher. So I had to focus a lot. Like, I didn't have time to upload. I had homework and projects to do, and tests to study for. I mean, Jesus. It was just really rough. But after that was over, I mean, I was free game after that. I was going to come back to this, and I'm glad I did. And of course, the, the final thing, and I died. Of course, Quick Man kicked my ass. The final thing was really personal, and it had something to do with my family member, uh, my father. My father has, my father had a heart attack uh, two years ago. And what happened was that after two years, like he was, his heart was just giving out. It was just not functioning as much. So it was just kind of an issue to just have him be like that. By the way, fuck you, Quick Man. You've been kicking my ass every time I practice. By the way, Quick Man, terrible to fight. Especially with both his weaknesses, um, Gemini Laser and Shirt Snake. But yeah, that's what I was saying. Uh, we're going after Needleman next, and I'll explain on the way about what's going on. So, uh, but continuing on, my father, 
he started having chronic heart failure. Like, he was, he was just shutting down, like, he was, it was really sad for me to see. And we got into a hospital, like, these past couple, like, this past two months. And it was just very, it was just very, like, scary to see him in that condition, because he's always, he's always been, like, kind of a stable guy. Well, he's, this past year, he's kind of just been a little bit sluggish, but he's always managed, but now he's kind of, I don't know, different. I'm not saying that as like a, oh, like I don't know the situation, but I say it as that it's not, you usually don't see him like that. So, as concerned as we are, my mother took him to the hospital and like, it was just a big deal that's happened in my family. But, as I know right now, uh, during these current past couple weeks, uh, my father, my father's actually making a decent recovery. And we can just pick him home in the past couple, in the next couple days. Um, and the reason why I didn't want to record while I was doing that, while that happened, well, I just didn't want to be, give it like a depression here, you know? I kind of want to give this a little bit of a lighthearted, kind of silly, kind of channel, you know? So, take that as you may. Uh, also, I'd like to explain that Needleman stage on uh, the first part isn't really that different compared to the one that uh, the regular stage is. But the second part is extremely different. By the way, you fight Airman here. And God, I hate Airman. Airman is the worst to fight in the game. For me. I have no idea why I have, like, the worst time fighting Airman anytime. I think it's just in my psycholo psychological just mind just to not be good at this boss. By the way, I needed to use that. I did not want to die. So yeah, Airman's weak to magnets, and he's also weak to spark shot, if I remember correctly. By the way, uh, a couple things I wanted to explain. Like I said, the first part of Needleman stage is very, is very similar to the regular stage, but this next part is gonna be awful. You see this open air right here? You have to use Rush Jet. You have to use it. it there's just no, no work around it. You gotta use it. By the way, Rush Jet right here, the best in the series. You can go anywhere with it. You can literally go anywhere with Rush. It's ridiculous. It's, it's, it's fucking bonkers. So, yeah, but the problem is with this is don't die here. Don't die at this part. If you do, you will regret it. Because if you die here, if you die at this part and getting to the next boss, you have to go through that entire part without any energy. Like any energy pellets you pick up, you won't have that energy anymore. It's gone. So, just be careful there. And I'm just gonna do this Rust Jet for just safety reasons. This, this, this place sucks. Like, honestly. Like, this in Sparkman stage, this, these places suck. Oh, by the way, this is a Metsu boss right here that you can fight against. Uh, I usually use the Shadow Blades at this part because I might as well use it. Like, I never really utilize any of the Robot Master powers as much. But, like, this, this and Magnet Missiles, like, are really good. Like, especially because the directional pattern that you can shoot it in, and you can just hit it in almost, like, any direction. It's really useful. So, what I was actually going to say, and I needed to explain this before, that the so Dock Robot Masters, they have two weaknesses. If you didn't have one weakness, if you were, like, out of it, you could use the other weakness use the other weakness to take him down. Um, most of the weaknesses, I'm not really sure of, but some of the others I do. I know that, um, Quick Man that we just defeated, he's weak against Gemini Laser or Surf Snake, but good luck with hitting him with that. Meanwhile, this last guy right here, since we've already fought everybody else, it's Crash Man. So Crash Man is weak to Hard Knuckle. So, you might, you might want to be careful, like, he doesn't shoot he doesn't do like he usually does, 
but he's actually really weak to Hard Knuckle, so... Uh, what I like to do is try to hit him in the air while I'm doing that. I know that was, a, that was kind of a sloppy display, but honestly, I think it wasn't that bad. So, with all the Dark Robot Masters defeated, we fight Breakman for the probably last time. All right, bring it on. I actually really like this. Um, I was gonna explain this later, but the Archie comics actually do this fight too. But of course, it's not in this area. It's like it's at actually at the Doctor Lice Laboratory. It's really cool. But yeah, after that short fight, guess what? We get some plot. Oh no! Right after we received the last element, Wily ran off with Gamma. So yes, who would have seen it? Who would have seen it coming? Dr. Wily betraying us. I mean, it's not like he tried to kill us in the last two games. I mean, come on. Oh, he's giving that eyebrow wiggle. And since this episode, I mean, since I've been a little bit away for a while, I might as well extend this episode for a while, like, for the extended time. It's only fair to you guys. So, this is Dr. Wily's castle. Um, honestly, out of all the castles, I really think this is one of the easiest. One of the easiest castles, like, definitely, it's fun. It's not as bad, because look at this. First off, you get a lot of pickups in this, in this castle. Like, Dr. Wily is really generous here. I'm surprised, considering he's trying to kill us. But yes, you have underwater sections. But honestly, I wouldn't really worry about that too much. And of course, I'm getting hit by penguins. Swimming penguins. But yeah, like I said, like here... Oh, whoops. Here you have the hard knuckle wall right here. And look, extra life! There are a lot of pickups to get in here. It's not as bad as the Wily 2 and 1 castle. It definitely... Like, I think they really toned it down in this one. But yeah, like, with, um, going back to the whole Rush topic, actually. Uh, Rush, Rush Jet, it is powerful in this game. You'll never have it like that again. Like, just, here, watch this. Watch this. Look at this. You can go in any direction. It's ridiculous. And in the next games, like, after this one, like, they completely nerf Rush going forward, like, now he just goes only forward, and just, he only just, you can only get to a certain point with him, and it kind of sucks, but we'll have Broken Rush anytime of the day. Ugh, here comes Bola Joe. I don't know what these are really called, like, I know they're, I know their their counterparts are called Sniper Joe, but... I just call him Bola Joe for shits and giggles. Oh, definitely. This is a good magnet missile use. Um, usually you're supposed to use Rush Jet right there. But me, I wanted to use Magnet Missile right there just to not waste Rush Jet as much. Oh, yes. De disappearing re reappearing blocks. I haven't seen you in a bit. You guys are definitely fun. So, by the way... If you didn't notice, we're actually at Wily now. Can you believe it? <laughs> Jesus, we got here quick. Like I said, this this stage, this Wily, Wily Castle, isn't as bad. By the way, this boss, probably one of the easiest too. We gotta fight turtles, and they're weak to the Shadow Blade. By the way, they just destroy it in one hit. Uh, they're gonna go in each direction. Meanwhile, these tornadoes in the water are going to try to push push you, like, in certain directions. But these turtles aren't bad, because there's only, like, four of them. So, you don't really have to worry about it. Well, let's see how much time we got. Eh, we got decent time. I think we'll save the rest of this in the next episode. Alright? And I'm so glad 
that I was able to record this episode because I had a lot of free time, school was over, and also my dad's feeling better. And I'm so glad I got to talk about it. And I really wanted to apologize about this whole six this whole situation here. But now I'm back. I'm better than ever. And we're ready to finish the rest of Mega Man 3 off. So, with that, I'll see you guys later. This has been Inferno Nomad, and I'm signing off. Have a good day, everybody.